Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this lecture of type study of pigeon, today I will clear systematic position, classification of pigeon, column by Libya. It is commonly called blue rock pigeon or it is wild rock pigeon. Dear students, in this lecture, I will also clear external morphology, general features of, characteristic features of pigeon columba livia. First of all, I will discuss systematic portion classification. Not only as students, important question, it carries two to three marks. Classification of pigeon columba livia. Phylum, codata. Dear students, pigeon belongs to phylum codata because in its life history, it shows presence of a solid road like notochord, the nervous system which is dorsal hollow nervous system. In thoracic region, presence of gill slits and the last terminal part of body that possesses tail. Subphylum vertebrata craniata. Dear students, vertebrata, it means during development, notochord develops, and that solid road notochord is replaced by a vertebral column, backbone. Also named it is craniata. It means the brain is lost in a cranial cavity, a brain box, a cranium. Division, ganethostomata. Dear students, ganetha means jaws, stoma means mouth. It means mouth is bounded by jaws. Superclass, tetrapoda. Tetra, four, poda, limbs. It means the bird possesses two pairs of limbs, four limbs, which get modified into wings and the hind limbs which are well adapted for walking. Class Aves, presence of wings and the wings are modified for limbs. Feathers, pneumatic bones. Dear students, note down important question, pneumatic bones. It means the animal possesses hollow bones, cavities are there in bones air cavities in order to reduce to minimize the body weight which helps in flight adaptation presence of beak it means both jaws are modified into hard horny beaks this character presence of beak again reduces body weight Superclass, it is Neornithis. Dear students, Neornithis, it means the bird is living. Superorder, Neogenethi, Genetha, jaws, Neo, it means both beak, upper and lower, or the buccal cavity without any teeth. It means the beak, in case of bird, in case of pigeon, it is Edentulus, edentulus without teeth. Order, columbiformes. Dear students, columbiformes. It means this upper beak, it possesses on its anterior part, it possesses a soft whitish skin pad is there. And this whitish soft Pad is it is sear c e r e it overlaps the both external nares nostrils type columba livia habitat the pigeon the animal is it is it is gregarious as it is found in groups it is cosmopolitan Dear students, cosmopolitan, it means the bird, it is found everywhere. 
generally it is found in grain markets on railway stations old buildings and halls of rocks habits activity the bird is the pigeon and the column bolivia the blue or wild rock pigeon it is diurnal dear students diurnal it means the bird remains active during daytime locomotion pigeon is well adapted for both flight adaptation due to presence of a pair of wings as well as it shows slow walking due to presence of a pair of hind limbs legs feeding very important very important competitive exam students the pigeon is granivorous it consumes seeds it consumes cereals pulses but sometimes the bird consumes insects snails slugs etc reproduction and development dear students the bird is it is unisexual it is dioecious because both male and female sex are separate but externally we cannot distinguish male and females it is monogamous it means one male pigeon always lives in the company of a single female before copulation the male shows courtship behavior both male and female they produce a crude nest a female lays generally it lays two eggs rarely one and eggs are incubated by both parents about 14 to 18 days and dear students the young one is nidicolous the young one is altricial it means the young one immature helpless and it is featherless that requires parental care the young ones are nourished by both parents because in their elementary canal crop is present in that crop crop glands are there and the crop glands produce highly nutritious pigeon's milk that is provided by both parents to the young ones external morphology the body of pigeon it is streamlined it is bilateral symmetrical body and entire body of pigeon that is divided into four parts one is head second part is neck third one is back or trunk and the last part fourth part that is tail the pigeon body is divided into four parts first part is head which is small rounded mobile in nature it shows great mobility and dear students this head possesses following structures mouth and beaks on this upper beak a pair of cut slits are there these are nostrils or external nares which help in inhalation in breathing just above this upper beak a soft fleshy whitish skin pad is there and that pad which overlaps both nostrils it is cere c e r e a pair of eyes are present on head region and the eyes each eye is bounded by three movable eyelids upper eyelid lower eyelid and third eyelid which is a nictitating membrane that covers the eye just behind each eye a pair of dear students 
this is the position of opening of extra layer auricle opening second part is neck it is elongated the neck is flexible and highly mobile in nature third part is this main part of body it is trunk which is divided into thorax and abdomen in this thorax region the breast it possesses keel carina the abdomen that possesses a pair of four limbs which get modified into wings and a pair of hind limbs the legs are there on hind limbs no down the skin possesses scales only on legs dear students it means in case of birds the scales only present over hind limbs but in case of reptiles in case of snakes the entire body covered with scales the last part is that is tail dear student tail or it is europygium not on competitive gram student tail or europygium very small tail it is conical and it is it is covered by tail feathers quills or rectrices on this tail region only one oil gland it is preen gland dear students it is uropygial gland or it is coccygeal gland this is the only gland which is present on the body of pigeon it is oil gland that secretes oil which is used by the bird to shy the feathers dear students this is all about systematic portion classification of pigeon as well as external morphology of pigeon the entire body which is streamlined and it shows bilateral symmetry and it is divided into four parts head neck trunk and tail